Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will use the System Configuration dialog to do some basic setup of a router, R1, and a switch, Switch1. The System Configuration dialog is a basic setup wizard that allows you to perform basic setup of things like the host name and interface IP addresses of a device. Although you typically will be doing these things with the commands themselves, you should familiarize yourself with the system configuration dialog as well. Try to complete the lab yourself first, then continue watching this video if you have trouble, or watch it after to check your solution. Our goal is to do some basic configurations on these two devices with the system configuration dialog. Let's go on R1 first. If this is the first time entering the CLI, you will be asked whether you want to enter the system configuration dialog. However, I have already previously answered no to this. That's no problem. I'll type enable to enter privileged exec mode, then use the command setup, and then answer yes to enter the configuration dialog. Next, we are asked if you want to enter basic management setup, which, as stated here, only configures enough connectivity for management of the system. Let's go through the extended setup this time, although we will only be configuring one interface. So let's type no. Now we are asked if you want to see the current interface summary. The answer in brackets is the default answer, so I could just hit enter to continue or type in no to skip it. I could of course type in yes too, I just don't have to. I'll hit enter to view the summary. As you can see, there are three gigabit ethernet interfaces, as well as a VLAN 1 interface on R1. Now, we are asked for the host name. Currently, it is router, and that is also the default answer. Let's change the host name to R1. Now, we are asked for the enable secret. As you may remember, and as is written here, the enable secret is used to enter privileged exec mode and is automatically encrypted. According to the instructions for this lab, let's use an enable secret of Cisco with a capital C, which is important because these passwords are case sensitive. Next, the enable password, CCNA in all caps. Then the virtual terminal password. We'll look at accessing the router over a network interface in another lab. For now, let's just set a password of CCENT in all caps. Then we are asked if we want to configure SNMP network management. I'll hit enter to accept the default of no. SNMP will be for later labs. Then again, as I don't want to configure the VLAN 1 interface at this time. Now, the Gigabit Ethernet 00 interface is the one used to connect to switch 1, so let's configure it. Type yes and hit enter. The IP address is 192.168.1.1. And now we'll accept the default subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 by hitting enter. I don't want to configure the Gig01 interface or the Gig02 interface. Now we're at the final option. We can cancel this config with zero, redo it with one, or save the config with two. Let's accept the default answer of two by hitting enter. That's it. Now let's use show startup config to confirm. Here's our host name of R1, our encrypted enable secret and our unencrypted enable password the IP address of gig0, and the password on the VTY line, which is the virtual terminal mentioned before. R1's configuration is complete. Next, let's go through the setup dialog for switch 1. Enable, setup. Yes, to enter the configuration dialog. No, as we don't want to enter basic management setup. Let's just hit enter to view the interface summary. As you can see, there are a lot of interfaces, which is expected. Switches require more interfaces than routers, as you're going to 
be connecting lots of end hosts to them. Uh, let's change the host name to switch1. And now, the same passwords as on R1. Cisco with a capital C for the enable secret. CCNA in all caps for the enable password. And CSENT in all caps for the virtual terminal password. Enter to accept the default of no, as we don't want to configure SNMP at this time. Now, type yes and hit enter to configure the VLAN 1 interface. We're going to give the VLAN 1 interface an IP address. Note that physical switch interfaces or switch ports cannot be given an IP address. However, you can give an IP address to one VLAN interface, which can then be used to connect to the switch for management purposes, something we'll do in a later lab. We're going to configure the VLAN 1 interface here, as we're going to need the IP address to receive the response from R1 when we ping it in the next step. The IP address will be 192.168.1.2. Hit enter to accept the default subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Now, keep hitting enter to skip configuration of these interfaces. We won't be configuring them for now. Type no, as we won't be configuring this as a cluster command switch, which is beyond the scope of this lab. Now hit enter one more time to save the configuration. Let's type show startup config again to check. There's the host name of switch one, our enable secret and password, our IP address on VLAN one, and our password on the VTY lines. By the way, for those wondering, VTY stands for Virtual Teletype. Okay, now finally, let's ping from switch one to R1. Ping 192.168.1.1. The ping succeeds. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comments section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.